The sequel to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, is in theaters this uh, already. The movie honors the late Chadwick Boseman, who died in 2020 from colon cancer. Coco McAvoy, she's live in Hollywood with more. Coco, you better save me a seat. <laughs> Yes, good evening. I do want to save you a seat. I want to see for myself tonight, too. We are here at El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. This is really the place to be. There's so much excitement for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. As soon as this last screening wrapped up, we saw a lot of people come out of the theater. They were, of course, taking pictures next to this beautiful poster and all talking about how amazing the movie is. Take a look here. For years, we've all been waiting for this moment. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is now in theaters. It's the second movie based on the Marvel Comics character Black Panther and the first movie without the iconic Chadwick Boseman who played T'Challa. I'm super ecstatic. I mean, to say I'm like super excited is an understatement because we put so much work into this movie. We shot it during a pandemic, you know, so it's just a celebration of completion. How about that? A celebration of completing this piece of work and then also just celebrating Chadwick and his absence of not being able to be there present with us. But um, he was there in spirit. The movie features an amazing cast, including Janisha Adams Ginyard, a California native and Emmy nominated actress and stunt woman who plays Nomble. The character was in the first Black Panther. And then fast forward, you had Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I made my appearance. You know, I was throwing spears at people and stuff, entering a room. And then now at Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the role has um, gotten a little bit bigger. There's some more action involved. And Adams Ginyard, who honored Bozeman at the Wakanda Forever premiere with her body paint tribute, says the movie honors Bozeman and also honors black culture. What we did on the first Black Panther had not been done before. This was a superhero movie with a black lead and an all black led cast. And it was just unheard of. And it was very successful for the box office. It was successful for the culture because we had little brown boys, black boys and girls seeing people on screen who looked like them.